the story of a Soviet soldier about a girl named Alina, who lured two Germans into a bathhouse with her beauty, and thus she saved our lives. This video talks about it. We have been going to the front for several days. There are two of us. This is all that remains of our platoon, which held the defense north of Vitebsk. We have almost no food left. We were afraid to enter the villages, fearing to meet the Germans there. We might not get home. We found this farm in the morning. It was about 40 meters from the edge of the forest to the last house. We started watching. After 20 minutes, we were sure that the Germans were not there. During all this time, we saw only one girl, about 17 or 18 years old, who worked in the garden and sang something. We realized that there are no men on the horizon. We made our way to the garden, trying to be unnoticed. Girl, I called out to her. She shuddered, listened, and then walked in our direction, holding a hoe in her hands as a weapon. Everything seemed to work out for us. Soon, we learned that the girl's name is Alina. She is 17 years old, and she is now the mistress of these three houses. The men left with the collective farm breeding herd, which the chairman tried to save from the Germans, and two old women remained in the houses. Now she manages three yards, helps the old woman with the housework, and looks after the cattle. We hinted to the girl that we wanted to eat, but we didn't dare go into the yard. Alina said that she could give us nothing more than boiled eggs, lard, and bread. We almost choked on saliva from listing these delicacies. The girl ran into the house and asked us to wait for her behind the bath, which was also in the garden. Ten minutes later, we heard the sound of an engine on a country road, and soon a motorcycle with a sidecar, on which two motorcyclists rode, appeared. It was too late for us to run into the forest. The Germans would have shot us down with machine guns without much difficulty. Of course, we could also shoot them, since they certainly don't expect danger here. But we didn't want to endanger the existence of this farm, since the shots would attract the Germans. And for sure, this would have tragic consequences for all the inhabitants of this farm. We laid down behind the bushes of young potatoes, and when we had the opportunity, we ran into the bathhouse. I stood at the small sooty window and began to watch the yard. The Germans entered the yard and began to climb the sheds. It became clear to me that they needed chickens, eggs, and milk. These two behaved like owners. They searched in the sheds and went into the house. The German first caught one chicken, deftly twisting his neck, then the other. Another German climbed chicken nest and collected eggs, which he put in his helmet. When he scored a full helmet of eggs, he began to demand milk from Alina. She silently entered the house and brought out a jug of milk. The German took the jug, took a sip of milk and said, Gut, and handed the jug to his friend. Soon, a kind of oily sheen appeared in his eyes, and he looked at Alina with interest. Then, this Fritz began to show her increased signs of attention, courting her with the gallantry of a country guy. He unequivocally began to hint to the girl what he wants from her. Alina recoiled around him, and he laughed and tried to hug her. The girl pushed the German away, and he walked toward her to the encouraging cries of his comrade, and his eyes shone with lust. Alina screamed, turned, and ran towards the bathhouse. We realized that a clash with the Germans was inevitable. I took out a bayonet knife and stood outside the dressing room door. Alina ran into the dressing room and immediately disappeared into the washing department, and almost after her, this fat German came into the dressing room, from whom a kilometer stank of sweat. I stood behind him and stuck a knife into him, covering his mouth with my palm. The German said something and I lowered his body to the floor. Alina looked like a hunted hare. She sat down on the floor, huddled up and looked at the German in fear. It's okay, calm down. Now everything will pass. Dima reassured her. Alina, we will also have to kill the second German and you must help us, I said. She nodded in agreement, but still moved away from the dead German. The screams of the second fascist came from the street. He encouraged his friend, and it seems he himself wanted to play with a young and beautiful Russian girl. Five minutes later, Alina came out of the bath, lowering the strap of her dress and almost exposing her chest. Hey, Fritz, come on, now it's your turn. Your friend Hans is tired and wants to rest. The German smiled, put his prey in the cradle, and went to the bathhouse unbuttoning his tunic as he went. Soon, he too was stabbed in the stomach by me. We shouldn't have left the Germans here. We dragged them into the yard, loaded them into the cradle of the motorcycle, 
took the food that Alina had prepared for us, said goodbye to her, and I never saw her again. In turn, we drove the motorcycle to the lake, drowned it together with the Germans, having previously taken weapons and documents for them, and continued on our way towards the front. I hope that Alina was right, because an hour later, there was a heavy downpour that washed away all traces. What an interesting story about a brave Soviet girl who helped deal with the Germans. We hope everything ends well for her. Rate this video, write your opinion in the comments, and subscribe to our channel.